Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you wanted to join me today because today we're going to look at different kinds of zero waste alternatives to toothpaste. I have done this exact video before. If you are very quick or a very old subscriber, you will know that. But a few years ago, I made this exact video. But firstly, what I say in that video, I can't remember, so I don't expect any one else to remember. I also think it's nice to update some of these videos because my impression of certain products may have changed a little bit or generally if your life changes, your opinion changes and I want to do this again because then there is a newer, more fresh version of this and you guys have been asking about sustainable toothpaste options for quite a while so um, we're doing this one more time. Do, 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 do. Molly is again here with me. It's my boyfriend's dog and uh, she's hanging out in my apartment a lot, especially while I work from home because it gets a little bit lonely and then she is there. Hello. Zero Waste Toothpaste was one of the first things that I made from scratch, sort of like an alternative to something that would come in plastic and it's about four years ago now, so it's been a long time and I didn't really like it and I never really did I think I think I was very excited about the fact that I could make stuff myself um, but I never really cared for the texture or the flavor or the feel of it in any way so it was never really a success of mine but it was really really fun to experiment and if you're transitioning into a zero race lifestyle I still sort of recommend try and make it maybe don't use it every day but try and make it because it's a really nice sort of transition into making your own products um, but yeah, it's not something that I recommend using every day because I, I've also not heard the best thing from dentists about it. Um, so maybe you want to consider that. Anyway, so yeah, homemade toothpaste does not get a perfect score from me. Um, but it's a fun gimmick and try doing something. But there are other alternatives out there. The next one I have here with me still. It is the Dual Organics Toothpaste and it is a charcoal infused paste. It comes in a little glass jar. As if I remember correctly, this was a little bit pricey, but I actually really, really like this. Um, this is one of the things that I bring with me whenever I go traveling. I had a long period of time where I didn't use tooth taps or dental taps. Um, and then I use this and I bring it with me while I travel. And it's a really, really nice little container to have. They, they have a few different options. I chose the one with activated charcoal, but I do also think they have spearmint and orange and ginger and stuff. And I actually quite like the Dew Organics one. It's something that it grows on me a little bit and sometimes I don't like as much as other times. Um, but generally I, I do think it's a solid product. Can you, can you watch this? So the next alternative is something that I never really heard of until I stumbled upon it on this website and I will leave obviously all links, all websites down below, go and check it out and find the best alternative for you. Um, but it's a dental stick and it sort of looks like the sort of ch chocolate sticks you get at coffee houses and then you, you mix it with... What is this? <laughs> Whoa! Um, this works in the way that you wet your toothbrush and then you rub it against this stick and then that becomes the toothpaste and I've actually been enjoying this quite a lot it does not foam a lot and sometimes I think nothing at all but I do feel like my teeth are getting cleaner cleaner they're getting clean um, but it does not work like conventional toothpaste and that is also I think one of the issues with the uh, with the homemade toothpaste which I will also leave a recipe to down below if you're interested, that it, it, it reacts in such a different way from conventional toothpaste that it becomes, it becomes too different. And sometimes I feel like that really messes with people's, people's comfort zone. And we have a lot of, I mean, personally I do, I have a lot of concern about my teeth and I want to take good care of them. And I don't want my health in any way to, to be neglected because of sustainability, if you feel. So, so I don't personally like when a, a sustainable toothpaste reacts too differently. And this is very, very different, both in look and taste and feel, whatever. This is with the spearmint flavor, um, but this has been really, really nice when traveling. I don't use this every day and I've never used this every day, but it's a really, really nice thing when I'm on the go and stuff because I won't have to bring stuff with me and my teeth are getting clean. So it is actually quite neat. Then, I mentioned dental taps slash tooth taps quite a few times in this video, so maybe it would be appropriate to talk about them here as well. That's what we are going to do. So, dental taps. Okay, 
Um, I've tried these quite a few times. I am the worst as at refilling my dental tap um, tin. So sometimes I go without them for a very long time, which is why I end up trying all of these other kinds of alternatives because I can't be bothered just getting them back. Um, but I know different bookstores have them and I know that different um, zero waste websites have them as well. I will leave links down below if you're interested in, uh, in getting these. But of course, I thought maybe I should make this clear. All of these products are vegan. Just if you're wondering, I tried the tooth taps from Lush, which were so bad. <laughs> Just so bad, but I tried them when they had this little cardboard packaging and they recently switched it out to a plastic packaging instead. Recently, recently, I think two years ago. So, good, I'm old. Um, but those were so perfumed, so fragrant, so scented, it was so bad. I, 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 they were more of a gimmick, I think, than an actual everyday product. But these, these are an actual, an actual product and if I could, I would use these every single day. Sometimes I run out and then I have to go back to other alternatives until I get myself together and I refill it. But this is the thing that I personally swear by and it's still, it says a lot I think that the dental taps are not ideal but that they are the best alternative I think personally out there and I really really enjoy them. Um, so that was my little dental review, dental review. Just this was my Zero Waste Toothpaste Alternatives review. I went through a few different things here, but I'm just going to be honest with you guys. If you're looking for something that is identical to toothpaste, that you know, that paste, you're going to be disappointed because this is one of the things that continuously is different. And it will always be different because the, the whole idea is different. And that's just something that you need to to find out if you prioritize or not. And for me, it's quite important, I prioritize it, but it's never going to be completely the same. But you will get used to it at some point. I am used to it at this point, it's fine. <laughs> Was this just a really bad way to end the video? I'm a really happy person, but just, yeah, but I mean, I don't want to sit here and lie to you and say, this is just a perfect alternative, when it's not perfect, but it's the best thing that I can find, and it's the best thing that I use, and I am, I am enjoying it still, so. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video, by the way. And if you have any recommendations for other kinds of alternatives, leave them down below and let me know if you know about the brands that did something that I didn't mention here. Or I would really, really love to know and expand the knowledge and maybe make a two part of this video. That could also be pretty cool. I'm also thinking about doing a, a new review video on all the bamboo toothbrushes that I've tried. Tell me if that's something you want. If it's something you want, I will definitely go make it. So, <laughs> okay, now I'm done. See you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video, and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys help me create green zero waste contents, and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye.